The Adirondack Park in New York State is over six million acres of rugged scenic mountains, numerous lakes, rivers, and streams. Many people enjoy hiking, climbing, boating, and fishing, among other recreational activities in this area. This video, taken in the spring of 2014, shows a water quality sampling and research trip that the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation and its partners do to help protect the water resources in the park. We are headed to Brook Trout Lake, a remote lake within the West Canada Lakes Wilderness Area in Hamilton County. This video is a companion to an article in the Conservationist Magazine, August 2014. Many water bodies that are sampled in the park are so remote that it is more efficient to get to them by helicopter. The New York State Police Aviation Unit provided the transportation for this trip. Of particular concern in this lake and other Adirondack lakes is the acidic conditions caused by acid rain. Fish cannot survive in an acidic water body and it was not long ago that the fish population in Brook Trout Lake declined to the point where no fish could be found when the lake was sampled in 1984. Over the past 20 years, DEC and its partners have collaborated on a number of chemical and biological studies. Sampling trips such as this one have tracked the improvement over time. By 2005, the lake had recovered enough to consider restocking it with trout. The lake has been restocked with fish and they are surviving and multiplying. Our continued research will evaluate fish restoration with changing water quality. The knowledge gained from Brook Trout Lake in terms of ecological recovery will help resource managers design future restoration projects that promote the revival of a naturally reproducing native fish populations in other fishless lakes. Arriving at the lake, they unload the gear, including the nets that will be set up on a subsequent trip to evaluate the fish population. They then prepare to set out for chemical and biological sampling. Researchers go to the deepest part of the lake as the water will be most representative of the overall water quality. They complete a user perception survey and use a Secchi disk to measure water clarity. A Van Dorn bottle is deployed to collect water at various depths in the lake. The samples are then preserved. A multimeter probe is used to measure temperatures, dissolved oxygen, among other parameters. Brook Trout Lake is the first documented case of a naturally recovering Adirondack Lake to be repopulated with fish. The recovery of this lake provides an optimistic outlook and is motivation to continue the fight to save and protect the park.